Hello, you're right. Welcome to the last uh, recorded lesson before the summer holidays. Um, hopefully next time I, I see you, it will be in, in person. So uh, the last lesson, we're going to continue to look at grid references, but we're going to make it a little bit more difficult this time. And we're going to look at six figure grid references, something which some of you might uh, still be good at from year seven. And some of you might be able to build on the skills that we did last week with those four figure grid references. So just a bit of a recap then. So remember, four figure grid references, you need to follow this sequence. Identify what you want to locate, go to the bottom left corner of that box, go along the corridor, then up the stairs. So say we use the telephone for the example. So we're going to try and uh, get the kind of the coordinates or the reference for that box there. So we go to the bottom left corner, we go along the corridor and get 14. We go up the stairs and get 61. And that is our four figure grid reference. So if we now want to do six figure grid references, we kind of follow the same pattern, but we just add a few more steps on. So you can see from five, we then need to split the box by 10 vertically and horizontally. Then we need to figure out how far across is the symbol and how far up is the symbol. So we'll use the telephone again. And we will just start off by figuring out the four figure grid reference. Find the bottom left corner, step two, step three, we go along the corridor, we get 14, we go up the stairs, we get 61. And that's the four figure grid reference. You can see I've written it down so there's a gap after each of the two numbers. So step number five now, we need to. You wouldn't do this, you wouldn't draw this on a map, but you need to visually in your head split the, the grid by 10 vertically and by 10 horizontally. So you've got that kind of uh, crisscross in that box. Then you need to figure out how far across is the telephone. So you can see the telephone is about one, two, three, four, five across. So we'll put one, four, five. And then how far up is it? One, two, three, four, five again. And that would be our six figure grid reference. Right, we'll do a couple more of these now. So this time we're gonna look at the picnic um, bench at the in the at the top of the grid. So again, we step number one, we locate the box. Two, we uh, go to the bottom left corner. Three along the corridor, we get 13. Four up the stairs, we get 62. Then that's our four figure grid reference done, but now we need to add the numbers at the end. So we'll split the box vertically and horizontally. The picnic uh, bench is about three across, so it'll be one, three, three. And it is somewhere between seven and eight up. So I put eight, so six, two, eight. If you put seven, that would still be correct as well because it's somewhere between the two. Right. Um, Last one before you can uh, have a go at the quiz. Um, this time I'm going to do the school. And you can see uh, the school is actually on that line. Okay, it's on that line. When it's on the line, it's always in the box to the right hand side. So that's our box there. We go to the bottom left corner, set number two, set number three, along the corridor to 15. Don't really go up the stairs, but we got the stairs to 59. We said that's our four figure grid reference. And we then split this grid by 10 vertically and 10 horizontally. You can see how far across is it? It's not, it doesn't go across at all. So we put a zero there, one five zero, and it's about three up. So it's five nine three. So that is how you do six figure grid references. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a quiz on show my homework again. I know that last week's quiz, it was quite difficult to see the image. So what I will do, I will attach the image as a document on show my homework as well, so that you can kind of have it up on your screen and not need to rely on the image that comes up on show my homework. Um, so yeah, please watch the video, uh, complete the quiz, and then please also give me a score of confidence as well. Um, so how confident are you at six figure grid references? They're a bit more difficult than the four figure ones, but hopefully you should be able to have a go. Um, hope you have a good summer and hopefully see you all in September.